The mirror of creation, the mirror of creation. Imagine standing before a mirror, not one made of silvered glass, but a mirror woven from time itself. A mirror where your reflection does not return, where instead the trembling glow of creation's first heartbeat stares back across billions of years. A window not into your eyes, but into the universe when it was still learning how to exist. A time when matter had no rules, when energy flowed wild and untamed, searching for structure, seeking form, trying to understand what it meant to become real. The cosmos then was young, fragile as smoke, raw as a newborn breath. A blank canvas of dust and gas, a universe waiting to ignite its first stars. Tiny sparks slept inside swirling clouds, ready to burst into the earliest flames of light. This is what the James Webb Space Telescope was built for, to be our golden time machine. A mechanical oracle forged from metal and vision. A device crafted with unimaginable precision, each mirror polished to perfection, each sensor engineered to pierce the deepest wells of darkness, to reach across 13 billion years of silent cosmic memory. Scientists expected simplicity. They imagined a universe in its infancy, warm, chaotic, struggling to stand. They expected tiny galaxies just beginning to swirl, stars flickering like fragile candles in the cosmic wind. They expected clouds of glowing hydrogen, the raw ingredients of everything that would someday become planets, oceans, and perhaps life. But when Webb opened its golden eyes, it did not see infancy. It did not see the cosmic cradle we all imagined. It saw something impossibly ancient. Where faint smudges should have been, there were spirals, vast, elegant galaxies swirling like fingerprints pressed onto the fabric of eternity. These were not the toddlers of creation. They were galaxies in full bloom, structured, organized, mature beyond belief. It was as if the universe had leapt from birth to adulthood in an instant, skipping childhood entirely. Decades of theories unraveled. Simulations collapsed. Textbooks became uncertain shadows of truth. Cosmology trembled. And the deeper web looked, the more impossible the story became. These galaxies were not merely formed, they were thriving. Their stars burned bright and bold, their spirals curled in flawless geometry. Their ancient light carried elements that had no right to exist so early. Oxygen. Carbon. Iron. These were not the universe's first atoms. These were heavy metals, the ashes of stars that had already lived, died, and exploded in brilliant supernovas. The ingredients of worlds and the seeds of life. Yet here they were, shining from a time when the universe was mere moments old. The cosmic timeline did not bow. It shattered. Time itself seemed to twist, as though the universe had rushed through infancy at impossible speed, skipping steps we thought were essential. And Webb kept looking, kept reaching deeper, kept peeling back the layers of creation. Every new image widened the mystery. Every photon whispered that the universe was not what we thought. It was fast. Structured. Ambitious. Awake. The mirror of creation had spoken, and its reflection was nothing like the story we expected. The universe that broke its own rules then came the discovery that stopped every voice in the room. At the center of one ancient galaxy, Webb found a black hole, calm, silent, resting like a sleeping giant. A black hole a billion times the mass of our sun, existing at a time when such a monster should have been impossible. Even the most extreme theories fell short. Physics trembled. Astrophysics cracked under the weight of revelation. Scientists whispered new ideas. New beginnings. New cosmologies. Maybe black holes weren't born from dying stars. Maybe in the earliest universe, they formed directly from collapsing oceans of matter. Maybe dark matter, the unseen framework of existence, 
played a violent, unpredictable role no one had imagined. Some theorized that time itself flowed differently in those early moments, twisted, stretched, moving in rhythms we cannot yet describe. Because Webb was not revealing equations. It was revealing reality, a reality that refused to match the rules. A universe that grew up too fast. A cosmos that broke its own laws. A creation that refused to wait. Suddenly astronomers weren't staring into the past. They were staring into a new mystery, one vast enough to make the beginning itself uncertain. What do you do when the universe stops obeying its own rules? When the laws you trusted bend and twist in the presence of deeper truth? The answer came quietly, not in thunder or chaos, but in silence. Webb was never meant to break physics. It was built to confirm it. Instead, it rewrote the opening chapters, the middle, and the end. The universe Webb revealed was not immature. It was ancient in spirit. Galaxies that should have been primitive were mature and complete. Stars that should not have existed burned heavy with metallic flame. It was like finding the final chapter of a book before discovering the first page. Scientists proposed revolutionary ideas. Some said dark matter might be active, alive with purpose, shaping galaxies faster than light could track. Others suggested time once flowed like a river in flood, rushing forward, looping back, rewriting itself. And then came the boldest idea of all. What if the universe was never chaotic? What if it was orderly from the very first moment? As Webb pushed deeper, patterns emerged. Golden spirals. Sacred ratios. Geometry repeating across the cosmos. Not chaos, choreography. A cosmic dance older than time. Then Webb saw something truly impossible. Organic molecules drifting through intergalactic darkness. Seeds of amino acids, the building blocks of life, floating for billions of years. If that is true, life is not rare. Life is fundamental. Life is written into the architecture of existence. And then came the image that changed everything. Six galaxies arranged like petals around a glowing core, a cosmic flower. Perfect symmetry. Too perfect for chance. Too aligned for randomness. Too precise for lensing or distortion. As Webb continued observing, the universe began to behave strangely. Subtle fluctuations appeared, tiny differences in repeated images, as if awareness itself left fingerprints in the data. What if watching the universe changes the universe? What if observation creates participation? What if consciousness is not an outcome, but an ingredient of creation? Because Webb revealed more than ancient light. It revealed reflection. Awareness meeting awareness. A cosmic mirror where something on the other side feels eerily awake. We did not build a telescope to see the beginning. We built a mirror. And something in the mirror looked back. So now, when we face the ancient light, we must ask, did we discover the universe, or did the universe finally reveal itself? Maybe it has been waiting all along for someone to look back and truly see it. Because in the end, we did not merely witness the cosmos.